Hey guys, um, I'm Drew Protocol. It's a Saturday night, it's about 11.30. I'm sitting around building this thing. It's my naked C-3PO costume build. Um, this is vlog number eight. Ironically, I'm the one that's sitting around naked, <laughs> sewing a cute little black skin tight number. <laughs> Fit him with a restraining bolt. You're a feisty little one. Hey, just posted on Instagram that um, my Janome doesn't normally like to stitch on stretch fabrics, but this old machine surprised me today and did a pretty miraculous job. I'm quite shocked. Um, only problem is the special tricot stitch that I did. Um, it looks beautiful and it, you know, held all the fabric together perfectly, but it didn't have as much stretch as I thought. So there's a few spots because my suit is quite tight and I'll just show you um, some photos in a second of what that looks like. And if you have a look, um, you can see it's perfectly skin tight before it was um, like really, really baggy. So. Rather than buying another suit, I just managed to fix this one. So I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna use um, the overlock stitch on my machine. I don't know how much stretch um, that has because it is a straight line stitch then with a, um, it does a weird like two steps forward, one step to the side. So it's a bit weird, but um, I might just run that over um, my seams. One of my dilemmas, I've just tried the costume on with the other parts that I've made. And um, I did notice that um, the tightness around the hands is a bit awkward. So I'm thinking that I might cut the hands off and just make some separate gloves and maybe have like a, a Velcro strap just to keep it all together. Because that way I can put on the bodysuit and, um, and I can have a little bit more freedom with my hands and then I can slip my hands into some gloves at the end. But um, overall, it's like pretty good. I think the hood thing, um, there's a bit of a problem because it's a, it's a morph suit. It's supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to be able to see through the fabric, but it's, the, the, um, the vision is too limited. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a, um, like an oval shape in the face. And I was thinking of maybe, um, or maybe even just cut like the eyes out. And that way, when I've got the helmet on, the eyes will just, my eyes will be able to just sort of like blend in around the back of the, um, the eye tubes. So um, I don't really want my vision to be um, sort of obscured too much with any fabric because this is just, it's stupid. I mean, like your vision is obscured enough as it is uh, with a 3PO helmet, as most other 3PO helmet people will know. Um, this is okay at the moment because it's just the eye grills, but when, when you put in the lights and the backing plate, um, there's literally like a hole about as thick as your finger. And the further, the further away or the longer that tube is, the harder it is for the wearer to see out. So what I have done in the past is I have made my eye tubes um, slightly conical so that I have a better field of vision to a smaller focal point at the end. It probably sounds a bit weird, but rather than having like a completely parallel tube all the way right up close to my eyeball, having a bit of a wider opening closer to the eye and a small opening at the end does help with the vision. Um, it just means that you can see like like a wider field of view. So it's pretty good. Um, so I might do something like that. Um, I do tend to oversize my the, the pupils inside my 3PO eyes just because it does make it a lot easier to see. And I, I have worn a 3PO costume to Comic-Con before and there was so many people around me. Actually got a bit dangerous, not only for people um, possibly running into the Wolverine pistons on the on the hands but um also because my suit had well three pieces have quite intricate parts on them so particularly with 
this kind of suit. I mean, I have I have made this pretty pretty durable, I think, um, and I think it should be fairly good. It should be it should be not too bad in a crowd. I don't think there's going to be anything that can really hook onto stuff. The other costume had pistons on the elbows and stuff, and someone snapped one off, like kids grabbing stuff. So um, apart from all the wires and things on this costume, most of that will be probably attached to um, my stretchy undersuit. So the hard parts of the costume are gonna be probably fairly durable on this, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, yeah, overall it's all worked out pretty well. So just got a few things to do. Um, oh, before I forget, um, I was gonna show you what I made tonight because I've been kind of stalling on this and after about 16 Dr. Peppers, I kind of got stuck into it. I started making the shorts. Well, they're not even really shorts. It's more of like a elaborate looking belt. Now you did see this already in the photos that I showed in the cutaways, but I just wanted to give you a quick close up of what I've done. Um, all this needs now is just like, there's actually a little bit of a weird piece that goes across in there and it sort of angles inwards a bit from the pictures I've seen. And, and there's just a few kind of, um, detail parts that are layered onto this section, which is pretty easy, just strips that have like some little bits and pieces on it. A bit similar to how this is. Um, there's just some weird sort of, I don't know, like Sith acolyte looking um, patterns on there. I don't know, I kind of like that, that style. Like it's, it's kind of got this blocky, edgy kind of machinery kind of look to it which um which is going to look cool and there's a couple of studs that go on there and yeah there's just a few little bits and pieces but so that's all i've got to do for that i've also got to work out because the way this is worn at the back um you know like this kind of just sits up, up, up on my above my butt cheeks so i don't know whether to have i don't know if it'll look right having a a little g-string bit connecting to the front i don't even think it's necessary to be honest um i might just i might just have some like elastic and some clips or velcro or something just to clip this onto so it just kind of hangs and then um when i eventually build the hip joints they will just sit like below this and even they will probably just be velcroed onto my undersuit or they could possibly have like a, an elastic like suspension point on the inside of this belt thing. A um, few different things I thought about today about that. Yeah, that's all I've been doing. Um, probably not gonna be able to sleep for about 14 hours now because I've had too many Dr. Peppers. But I can tell you one thing, I'm getting cold. I need to put on some clothes. <laughs> so I hope you're all having a good Saturday night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.